Tomorrow morning is not going to be as cold as it was this morning. Yeah. It was chilly. It, it was, was real it was chilly. Yeah. yeah, let me show you, though. Here's the numbers as you walk out in the morning. You'll want that light coat or the sweatshirt. Temperatures in the 40s to about 50 degrees. Now, this is really early. This is 5, 6 o'clock in the morning. Once we get a little bit later in the morning, temperatures will quickly rise. So by 8 o'clock, we're at 57 degrees. By noon, 68. A partly to mostly cloudy sky. 70 by the end of the day at 3 o'clock. So I'm giving the bus stop forecast and your day planner an A. It's mild. We have a few more clouds in today, but we will be dry. So let's start the future cast at that 3 o'clock time frame. And you saw the partly to mostly cloudy. More clouds the farther east you are. I do expect more cloud cover down the shore tomorrow. Not an overcast sky all day long, but there will be uh, more of those clouds, relatively speaking, to uh, areas off to the west. Tomorrow evening, I'm loving it. Your Friday evening plans, getting together friends and family, firing up the grill, heading on out to some restaurants, kids doing sports, any of those things, all green lights, very nice conditions. We're going to watch the clouds, though, increase. By the time we get to Saturday morning, here's what we're tracking for our next weather maker. I expect cloudy skies on Saturday, mild temperatures with hit and miss light showers around the area. Nothing of significance. You want to get the yard mode, things like that in the morning. You should have time to do that, plenty of time. Some light showers passing on by. Watch what happens. I'm going to pause this at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. And the statement stands again for Saturday. The farther east you are, the greater chance you have of those rain showers because it's this weather system that's moving in from the south. And where it ends up will make a difference as to what you see in your backyard. Some heavier pockets of rain that will be moving from the south to the north. So I continue to tell you, if you have outdoor plans on Saturday, have that backup because we will likely be seeing showers off and on throughout the day with weather system number one. A touch of a lull, maybe early evening hours before weather maker number two, which is the cold front, sweeps through late Saturday evening. So starting with the west, moving over to the east, Philadelphia, probably 9 to 11 p.m. is the onset time there. Then up and down I-95, so, uh, you know, all of the state of New Jersey around midnight, 1, 2 o'clock in the morning, still down the shore until it clears out. We hit Sunday morning, sky's clear, and things are looking good. Not much of a rain maker, anywhere between about a quarter inch to three quarters of an inch of rain, and it does not look like a severe weather maker either, but some thunderstorms are possible. So to round it out, three things to know. Number one, clouds will increase tomorrow. It is a dry day. Number two, tracking those showers for Saturday. And last but not least, number three, Sunday is the better weekend day. If you can make your plan Sunday instead of Saturday, if you have that luxury, you're going to be thrilled. 79 then. We work into next week, guys. A lot of 70s on the map. It's mm -hmm. when it's, how is like it when we don't have to have the heat or the air conditioner on? <laughs> It'll save a little money. We'll send it back to you. That looks like your last seven golf rounds. <laughs> oh, <in> nine <laughs> holes, perhaps. <You're> <laughs> yeah. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate it.